name is Iris Garcia, and this is my beautiful, lovely family, and I'll go ahead and let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Cameron, and I love to dance. Hi, I'm Ava, and I love to sing. Hello, my name is Ellie, and I like to draw hearts. Oh, that's awesome, Ellie, because I like to draw hearts, too. <laughs> but either way, we're just so glad to have you here in our home, and so welcome so much. This is going to be a segment of fun family uh, snacks that we'll be able to offer to your family as we're all stuck in right now and in the home. But we want to make sure that you guys are able to take something with you and be able to implement it in your home. As well, Cooking with the Garcias is going to be a bi-weekly segment that's created through Emancipation Park and Servicey to provide easy snacks and meal options for the kids to be able to make at home because everybody wants to make something at home, right guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's right. So join in every other Thursday as we meet you guys right here. So we're excited to get started. Today we're going to be making apple poppers. Apple poppers. And I'm going to let, I'm going to let them go ahead and introduce what we have here on this wonderful countertop here. Okay. Well, we have butter, we have cinnamon, we have brown sugar, and regular granite sugar. And we have apples. Okay, and is that salted butter? Yes. Okay, salted butter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to let the girls go ahead and show you step by step how to make these amazing snacks, which we call apple poppers. So let's get started, guys. Come on. Go ahead and grab your dough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like and you that. always want to have the big side facing towards you. Okay. Good tip, Ava. Very good tip. Okay, what's next, guys? Putting and butter, butter on, on the dough. Okay. And don't be shy while putting it on there. Okay, and also let's note guys that we also washed our hands before we got started. We understand how important washing hands and staying clean during this time, especially when you're working with food, you want to always stay clean. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. Don't be shy with the butter, but yeah. don't be too bold. Don't be shy with the butter. They all know I love butter. Kind of see, I kind of put my like... butter right here on top. Mm -hmm. I spread it a nice, mm -hmm. thick, smooth layer. We've got Cameron doing her layer. Okay, and as Ava and, and uh, Ellie are doing their layer, Cameron, can you tell us what's next? Okay, what's next is we're going to sprinkle some of this cinnamon, sugar, and um, brown sugar onto here. So let me make sure I understand. So cinnamon, brown sugar, and regular white sugar? Gran granulated, granulated sugar. Granulated sugar. Okay, you guys, that's three different types of sweeteners. This thing is going to be so sweet, and I cannot wait. So I will go first. I'm just going to do a thick coating right over my bread, and I'm going to let Cameron have next. Also, we have Ellie. Oh, look at that. She stretched her uh, croissant out longer to make a, bit, a longer bread. She's trying to get more of a bite. <laughs> See, that's kind of how it looks right there. Just that thick coating of sugar. Yum, yum. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Ellie, we're going to go ahead and use the spoon. Ellie wants to take a shortcut. Here you go, Ava. There you go. <laughs> Ellie, wait till the spoon gets over to you. It's coming. It's coming. I really want to take a bite there. I know. Ellie's so impatient, guys. Uh, so as they're finishing up with their sugar, what's next, Ava, after uh, we pour the sugar on? So we have one-eighth of um, thin slices of apples. So you want to add three apples on top okay. since the apples are so thin. What kind of apples are those? Granny Smith. Granny Smith apples, so that's important in which we have here in our bowl. So let's go ahead and dig in. Get your apples. How many apple slices do you think, guys? Three. Only three. Yeah. Only three? Okay, thank you. And have the thick side facing this way. And you know, still. I'm going to be honest with you, and that's a good point, but I kind of like mine a little all over the place. So I'm going to do what she said. I'm going to be obedient. Okay. <laughs> so you said, so we're going to place all three apples on top of each other. Three yes. Okay. All three apples and they look pretty. You got three apples over there too? Yep. Okay. Ellie, what's next after we do the apples? Can you, can you get down one step there? What's next after the three apples? We're going to roll it. We're going to roll it. We're going to roll it into a big, like a, like a cocoon, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. So we're going to roll this just like that. One, two, three. Oh, you know, I think I missed a little butter on the bottom of mine because I like mine to be real buttery. Okay. So can somebody show what it looks like? Oh, you got a mini cocoon of dough and apples. So yummy. So we have already started kind of preparing before we got on. So everybody go ahead and put your... Wait, wait, before you do that. Am I skipping a... What is it? And you have to oh, put butter on top. That's why I have them here. See? 
Put the butter on top. Can you do mine too for me too, Cameron, please? Okay, I can add a lot. So you take a nice chunk of butter on top because we want to like, like, Who doesn't like that crispy it, butter flavor, right? On yeah, top of the bite. Like, it's <laughs> definitely good. And then we add sugar on top. And then we add sugar on top. Okay, we're going to let Ava and Ellie get their butter on top. Okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Don't y'all let Ava, Ellie go out down there too long with that butter. Go ahead. Okay, that's good. Let's get the sugar. Come mm -hmm. on. Thank you so much. And Thank don't you. don't be too bold. Yeah, don't, don't be, be shy. too shy. Yeah, too Don't shy. be too bold, but don't. Is that your personality, maybe? I don't know. Seems like that's kind of poking out a little bit in that sugar. Come on, Cameron. You've been holding that spoon for a long time. So after we get the sugar toppled on top of our nest of wonderful dough and apple and butter we're gonna place it onto a very well waxed piece of paper and your baking pan you can use any size pan that you like and you can make as many as you like you can make extra for us too because we can come over there and have some after the corbett is over of course okay so you got yours go ahead and put that on there one and ella can put yours and you know guys as we're doing this it's so important to clean up after you you know make this kind of gooey mess all right we got it so we're going to put this in the oven. Does anybody know how, what the temperature on the oven is going to be about? 375. 375. And for how long? 10, 10 to 15, 15 minutes. minutes. You got to know that or else it's going to burn. So we're going to put this in the oven and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. And as you can see, we have a super clean area. We cleaned that area, and that's so important to do after you're done cooking. But let's see the final product, okay? Here we go. Here are our apple poppers. We took them out of the oven and we let them kind of cool off for about 10 minutes because you don't want to bite into that and burn your tongue. It's really important. And I'm going to let these girls go ahead and dive in there. And while they are eating this yummy snack, and we can't wait for you guys to make this as well, too, I want to say thank you so much for joining Emancipation Park Conservancy. And I would like to know that you can follow us at EP Conservancy for updated information. Make sure you tell a friend and have your whole family join us next time with Cooking with the Garcias. You guys stay safe and take care, and we love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.